guys, welcome to today's video. We are here in Mondello Park for the Showa Racing Track Day. It's grip, it's drift, there's a lot of cool cars here. Now a week ago, we broke all the attendance records in Mondello Park for the drift and modified car events. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed today. There's not as many people here to watch me drift at IS200, but maybe they didn't get the memo, because this is a big moment. The IS200 is here. If you guys didn't see us collect this car, it's got a 1UZ, welded diff, lock kit, all the good stuff, Link ECU. One of the most important things, I've never had this on a drift car, I think it's really gonna make my performance a little bit better. It's got a sub in the back, and I think that's really gonna help me relax with some relaxing music before I head to the track. Um, yeah, it's got a hydro, it's got all the good stuff. This is the most important part. Ba boom! Woody Z, Link ECU, Custom Loom, all the goodies. About 250 horsepower, which is not a lot, and I'm pretty sure all the subs and everything else is not going to make that easier. So we're going to have a quick look around at some of the cars here before we head to the track. This is some awesome stuff. If you want to get a few photos with them, you can. I'm, I'm, they're here for you guys. We'll do the autographs. It's fine. It's grand. I know. You don't have to be shy that we're here. <laughs> I got that look at it. I used to wonder already. You got a nice look? Yeah. No, I got that look at it. You got, that's enough of an insult for me. It's like the sun, isn't it? It's that bright. Um, yeah, Josh has gone for a non-drift approach, but more camera on the front. This is a weight balance thing, okay. just to keep it pinned on the front. Um, you guys are really okay. Uh, you're down here with uh, Tomas Kiley's car, down for a bit of testing today. We haven't looked into the monitors. I'm not going really to take any credit for any of the work. But. No, so this is, this is uh, X Nigel Calfer, taken to James Dean, redone completely top to bottom. Yeah, so James and uh, all the mics, uh, they all, mics? yeah, they all, stripped down the car and rebuilt it all back to fresh basically so really yeah that's a goal and it's not a full rebuild but mostly like a refresh you know so it's impressive i mean it's not as quick as the is 200 but it's impressive just to get out you know i mean if you can catch me we'll have a bit of crack today i'd say you know of course the most decided to go testing after the event that's how you uh, <laughs> yeah. You go to the event, the highest level European competition, then you go five days later to test the car at C4. Look at this thing. Looks like we did a while, well, guys. Looks like we just walked into to Suba or something. We'll try and get a, some shots of that later on. There's a couple of drift cars down here which look very cool. And it's a drift and grip day, so we've got like everything from 180s to Hondas to S14s or X7s. It's a nice little eclectic mix of stuff. And you even have some IS200 Some IS200 friends in the paddock there. We were chatting earlier, discussing notes on how to half drift most of the corners here today. This thing is lovely. You know when a man's opening the bonnet, he's, he's definitely not going to stock ice. Oh my god. There's a few boys now that spent a long time in the shade. <laughs> like a long time. Uh, a long time. Two long years. <laughs> Do you know what? It looks spectacular now. Thank you. Look at all the pie cuts. Like, this is all hardship. We watch people do this. And the whole is all done that, the whole down. The whole way? Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. pie cut all of this all the way back? Yeah. You've Apparently. even covered up the down pipe with heat. <laughs> <laughs> so what, have you mapped it about powers around it? She's 516. Down at John Allen. Why is there a Lexus badge here? Just, <laughs> I know you're trying to be an IS200 yeah. here, but yeah, that's, that's not it. fooling anyone. <laughs> Look at this. With his snazzy HKS mats. Super tidy. This makes our cars look very, very unclean. West 14 here. I love that. I've never seen like this that. before, this idea of giving a bit of space to yeah. the fans. Yeah, yeah, the Have you seen the most impressive thing about this car? He's got a fuel gauge in a drift car. <laughs> a fuel gauge a in a drift car? Con. This thing is beautiful. I mean, honestly, top to bottom, this is an unbelievable build. And a great color, and it looks good. It's the first time out, so it's good to see you. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have to get a camera in this later on. Yeah, I followed him and he spun in front of me. Imagine if I wrote off the car yeah. two years building. <laughs> if I did that. Leon would be fair. Wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be good. <laughs> You'd be flipping your MX-5 over on it. And you have another 14 as well, same, same color. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I've put a Winters into it and now I have a serious vibration in it, so it's just great, you know. Yeah, I, I like the float and dash effect there. It's a floaty dash, yeah. It's very nice. That one's had about two years of abuse, so she just doesn't look as good as his. Is it a V8 uh, Yeah, it's the one you said. Oh, great, en great engine, yeah. yeah. How much power is it? Uh, five, just over 500, like I, so. They, there's no, ideas. Hold on a minute. No. See, this is why he's got 500 horsepower. <laughs> Where's my one of these? 
Mine is half the horsepower. Though. But now I'm getting ideas. There is ideas. That is some manifold as well. I can't even. It's like um, you know those puzzles where you're trying to find your way out of the maze. It's like where in the. This is where these stupid is, ideas yeah, this come is the from. Problem. What we yeah. should do is go to events and talk to nobody <laughs> and not look. How would you go down three garages down and find exactly what you want for more power in your eyes? Well, you said you were lacking power, so. <laughs> you have an RV in yours. He's got a turbo in his. But none of these people have a sub and amp in it. So I'm just saying. Yeah. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> the line, listen to some radio, you know. Um, well, best of luck, lads, we'll try and get a couple of shots of these later on. They are awesome. So, sticking on the theme of uh, cars with similar engines to me but done much better is this thing. This is a beautiful. Look at these. Look at this. I'm an electrician by train, so. <laughs> what does he do? He's an electrician. Like I would never have been able to tell. Oh, this is, uh, you could change the fuse whilst actually driving, I think. Let me transition go. I think I put a 10 amp yeah. in there and a 20 amp in there. Yeah, no, this this was a budget build during lockdown. It was uh, 12 months ago, it was a bare shell. Ryan Morton did all the fab work on it. Yeah, we don't like Ryan Morton. Oh, okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> we love Ryan Morton. Yeah, Ryan, my, uh, I would never let Ryan Morton near my car. <laughs> we, lo we love you, Ryan. Well, it, it still has the, the original Lexus ECU wire and harness, and it was just Keep joining wires until it starts. So this is a 3 UZ. 3 UZ. So what's the power difference between the 1 UZ and the 3 UZ? Uh, I think it's 300. Yeah, the other the one's, yeah, the other one's like 250. Yeah, there's so you got 50 there's... more horsepower than me. I definitely have a little bit more weight I was in say, mine. There's I think. a lot of weight taken out of here. Yeah. I yeah. definitely don't have all my fuses up on the <laughs> Where's the one for the CD player? You see, that's what you don't have. Oh, you need the mod nice. con. This is a lovely car. Well, let's have some fun today. We're going to go out on the track. And uh, as you can see, there's lots of cool drift cars. We'll catch up with all the grips stuff later on. Some cool rally cars, some interesting Hondas. We're going to go have a look at that. But um, enough talk. Let's go do some drifting and not break some bumpers. Maybe if your high pitched voices, like I'm confident about it, but I'm not that confident about it. Time to test out this IS200. Got the GoPro on, you guys are along for the ride. Let's see if it does a skid. You look like such a tool with the GoPro on there. <laughs> There's no way, every time we put these, we need to get better ones than these open face helmets. We all look like idiots. I look like my face. Anyway, let's go and have some fun. You, ca you can't see it on the camera, so it's fine. Well, you can see it on this camera, but not that camera. Say a prayer for the bumpers. Just to remind everyone, this is a one-off body kit. Oh, there's, sorry, there's one, this is one of three, and he doesn't make them anymore, so. Yeah, good luck. All right, so a bit nervous, very fancy car. We're going to go do skids. That's why we got this car for. Let's see uh, how we get on. Is there anybody coming? No, let's go do a skid. We have no spare tires, no spare parts. Let's see if we can do a skidaroo. Oh, she's lively. Third gear is a little bit much for it. Okay, so third gear, a little bit caught between the gears there, but that's okay. The drive is very nice, to be honest. Let's have a little second gear here. This will be a nice little tester. There you go. No bother to it. This one's a bit of a third gear corner, I think, coming on the left, which seems weird, but that's how we do it. So we're on the international track today and we haven't got much spare tires, so I'm not going to do every single corner. Got to avoid all the curbs too because uh, it'll take the bumpers off, so I can't run up on the curbs. But can you get around Mondello in a really low car? Yes, you can. Oh, look, it's an IS200 friend who is obviously broken down. That's not a good omen. third gear corner. This is such simple fun. I've forgotten that drifting should be such simple fun. Well, that wasn't too bad. 
First session, sketchy driving all over the place. Car has a bit of power, not a lot of power. I'm gonna to need to put a lot more momentum into the corners. It's just something to get used to. I think it's all in one piece. So we're still alive, we're still drifting, we're having fun. We need some tires now, so uh, we'll go get them at lunchtime from Wayne's. Our shed isn't too far from here. We didn't bring any spare wheels because we're, I'm not sure, we thought it would last that long. We've got two GTRs here. One is under cover, I don't know why. I can do that to my car though. I can just have a car and put a GTR cover and everyone just think it's a GTR. It's very cool. However, we can't ignore what in the name of God this is doing here. Big Renault 5 guys in this yeah, channel. Big Renault 5 guys, so buckle in. This is a Renault 5. I assume some sort of rally car, very wide. It looks like a Group B rally car or a rally cross car. Is it the rear engine one? <laughs> There's an engine, There's an engine here, so I presume this is a... I'd say it's mid-engine. Yeah, it's just very far back. How mad is this thing? So this, is only, this only arrived like two days ago in the country. I think it came from like Spain or somewhere. I'm not sure, but as far as I know, it's come from far away. And they're bringing it here today just for... I don't know if they're driving it or displaying it, but it's very cool. Lovely, lovely M3 E30. I never know if it's a real. Isn't it the rear window it doesn't tell you? Well, I think if it's a left hand, if it's a left hand drive. Real M3. Real M3. Yeah. it's the window right on the back. Yeah. That's how you tell. On the back, it's left hand drive as well. And it's left hand drive. I just said that, Dave. Did you say that? I said that. You know things. Well, we learned it at Phil's the other week. So it's the window shape on the back between is the difference because it's a different window on the back. That's how you like tell it from someone who's made it look like an M3. Only the purest would know. Only the purest. We're not pure. Big BMW guys. Let's go find some more cool cars. Now you gotta give the scan. It's my people. The noise of your people. They're, that's the noise of my people. Part of the crew now. They, I'm accepted. They have a little ceremony for me this morning. Like you can, you're allowed to have best dance hits of 2004 now play in your car because you're an official IS200 owner. How many hoops do you have to do in the uh, crossroads before you get accepted? Uh, you have to do 200 to 300 run-in ring just to get up to level of your, your over 500. You get a badge. You get a free set of uh, TRD uh, window visor if you get over 500 rings. That's what I hear. And then if you leave big uh, snake marks going down there, you're pro. Oh, I mean, then you're talking the town. You know what I mean? Then you're, <laughs> you're on next level. Anyway, enough about IS-100. I also apologize for the wind noise. The reason there's so much wind noise is the wind. So that's why. This is, I think, how you should RX-7. Like time, time attack style. Yeah, I think they look so good. It's a proper track car, too. It's not a road car. It's coming a very fancy motorhome as well. Like an old American Bono style. He's just styling on everybody here. Cool camper, cool car, rotary as well. Still a rotary. Still a rotary. Wow, I mean that takes some commit. That's a life commitment there. That man's a man who's seen some hardship in his day. Okay, it's so windy here. Let's go back in the garages. to find a helmet and a mic. We finally caught up with the owner of the RX-7. Hello there, you're kindly oh. taking me for a spin. Wow, it's kind of really God, this is tight. So how much power is in this? Uh, at the minute, 415. Um, and it's rotary? It's rotary, yeah, 13B, yeah. So you like a bit of unreliability in your life then? Oh, you'd be surprised. The rotaries are, are pretty good. Like They like being revved and stuff, but uh, if you take out all the, um, the sort of emissions road going stuff, you know, it's it's pretty good that way. It, it makes them just really, really simple. And uh, run premix on them is another good thing to do. Fairly reliable, like this thing just loves being real. I gotta say, I'm looking at a road, getting a rotary car, and that makes me feel a bit better about getting one, seeing as they have a bad reputation. It's the first passenger spin of the day. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 
Uh, thank you very much for that. That's probably, you probably helped me ruin my life by once in a road tree more. <laughs> probably, yeah, that's warm. God, it's boy, I was gonna say the engine's warm, I'm warm. Yeah, my hand's yeah, sweating and everything. Cheers, <laughs> thank you for that. Oh, I feel cramp coming out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second session. Now the first one, Maybe the car is not a lot, as much power as I thought it would have. It doesn't feel like it has 250 horsepower, but we have a link so we can plug in and see if it's all running okay. But Josh is behind me in the MX-5, so we're gonna go do a few laps where Josh is gonna do some chase footage. So it'll be a bit of fun. Let's go for a skid. Still have a bit of tire left on it, I think. about the IS200. I don't think it has 250 horsepower. It doesn't seem to have a whole lot of horsepower. We might have to get this mapped. But thankfully, the car already has a Link ECU, so we can do that. Josh is in his uh, MX-5 camera car. I think he'll actually be able to keep up with this. It's okay, obviously you can decelerate like any other car. You can acceleration. I'm gonna try and learn in this session to do a little bit more with it. Um, it's running fine, although we cut the last session short just because we had a, a bumper issue, but I think this one will be fine. So we're gonna go out and have a bit of fun. between gears second is pretty good for the slow corners like this one third not so much and third for this one is pretty good actually
country, tons of throttle. I'm using the handbrake too much, like it's a pro car, so I've got the power to come back on, but I don't have it, so I gotta use a lot less handbrake, which is good for when I'm training for pro competition, because you know, sometimes you lean on the handbrake because you have so much power, you can come back off it, so it's a lot less handbrake. Tire gone. That was fun though. That was like three sessions on one set of tires, so that's not bad at all. Fitting. It's a lot of fun. So I'm out of rubber. I gotta go back to the shed and get some new wheels or new tires on new wheels. And when we're getting tires, we get them from the tire box. And you guys know. We rant and rave about them all the time, but they're unbelievable. Not only have the exclusive stock is the Federal tires, which we run on the front of our cars, and Goal Line tires, which are unbelievable for drift tires on the back of the car. We also have every single tire you can want for any car, next day delivery, and they won't be beaten on price. Check out their website, tell them Dave sent you. These tires are so much better than the other tires. A little bit more pressure was the sweet spot, but I was firing it in there. Like it was, it's like not a fast car, so you, like say a pro car, you can't fire a pro car into a corner too fast or you're just gonna go off the track. But with these, you're going fast for the car, but you're not going fast enough that you think you're gonna lose control. And uh, that's all she had on the track the last couple of laps there, but it was so much fun. Handles great, reliable. There was a little bit of a tire degradation towards the end, give me a little bit of wobble, a lot of handbrake just to keep it moving at times, but like it survived the whole day, the kit's intact. The kit is intact. Although Dave, the bit that I was following, there is a tiny bit of damage. Oh no. We've ruined it, we've ruined the car. Retire the car, I'd say. I'd say that's it now done, I can't be dealing with that. That's actually from driving around. I can hear it doing that. When you come up the hill, you can just hear it scuff the ground. That's when you know your car, you, no, your like, car's that low. If it was a wet day, you could drive eight hours of drifting on that, and it'd be great fun. In the dry, you were, I'm going through, that's two sets of tires for the whole day, compared to the pro car, it's unbelievable. Um, is it as fun to drive as the pro car? No, but the thing is, it's like too heavy for the power. Do you know what I mean? So if you had like a Corolla with 240 horsepower, it'd be really nimble, or a light MX-5 or something, but this is quite a heavy car. But like, it looks cool, it goes good, it's fun to drive, which is the most important thing. Could you do like day after day in it? I think so. It seems reliable, temperatures didn't rise too much. All I need is more tires from the tire box and we're good to go for the next day. So that was awesome. It was a fun day, like a chilled out day, right? Like, got to see loads of cool cars, got to drive our car, show a racing. Show them some love, they make some very good days happen in Mandela Park. And a great mix of like, GTR, S200, Corollas, RX-7. It's gonna go from a Renault 5 rally car to a GTR to an I-200 It's a Spearman Rhino. Spearman uh, Rhino, is, is that what you're calling it? I don't know, we should have a nickname for the car, but I need someone, someone in the comments should put a nickname for the car. So what we need to change in the car, we definitely need to map it. I don't think it's got all the power it should have, um, but even just to make sure it's running safely, we have a Link ECU already in it, so we'll plug it into a dyno, see what's going on. It's running fine, not misfiring, but maybe there's a bit more power to be got from it. Other than that, kind of just drive it as it is. I want to use this car to drive to other events, do some drifting, have some fun. I want it to be like an all-rounder, which I think it's done a really good job at. So it's a show car and a drift car, all in one, which sometimes means it has to sacrifice a little bit on both ends, but I think it's doing a pretty good job. So let us know what you think of the IS. We've only had it a week. It looks great, it now drives great, and everyone thought it was just gonna be a show car, but today proved it's not, so we love it. Now we have gotta test the other cars, get this one, a little bit of an improvement, but not major, and we've got a lot of cars that we wanna paint, modify, in the next couple of weeks. But you'll see all that in the next couple of episodes. I'm tired right now. I've just drifted an IS200 for like four or five hours. I've had a blast. We'll see you next time.